Our objective in this lesson is to solve problems involving equations and inequalities in one variable. The knowledge on these topics is a prerequisite for today's lesson. As a review, let us write the corresponding mathematical sentence of the following. Number 1. The lowest official temperature ever recorded in the Philippines was 6.3 degrees Celsius that happened on January 18, 1961 in Baguio City. Let us grab this one first. Let us locate 6.3. Since this is the lowest, it cannot go to the left but instead to the right. So the inequality for this is T for temperature is greater than or equal to 6.3. Number two, children ages 15 and below or senior citizens ages 65 and above are not allowed in shopping malls. Let's start with children ages 15 and below. This means that the maximum age for children is 15, so A is less than or equal to 15. Or, so we have union, ages 65 and above. The minimum age is 65. So A is greater than or equal to 65. Number three, each teacher will receive at most 300 pesos for the communication expenses. So let's have E for expenses. Since this is at most 300, so meaning it cannot go beyond 300, so we're going to use less than or equal to 300. Let us start solving. Let's start with a very easy one. Sydney is twice the age of Vincent. The sum of their ages is 21. Determine their ages. Since Vincent's age is not given in the problem, let us let x be equal to Vincent's age. And then Sydney is twice the age of Vincent. So twice of x is 2x is Sydney's age. The sum of their ages is 21, so our working equation will be x plus 2x is equal to 21. x plus 2x is 3x. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 3. This 3 will cancel out. 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7, so I have x is equal to 7. So x equals 7 is Vincent's age. 2x is equal to 2 times 7, which is 14, is Sydney's age. Let's do a quick checking. Is 7 plus 14 equal to 21? Yes, they are. Therefore, Vincent is 7 years old, while Sydney is 14 years old. Next one. The sum of three consecutive numbers is 66. What are the numbers? So the first number is unknown. Let us let x be the first number. The second number is x plus 1. The third number will be x plus 2. Now the sum of three consecutive numbers is 66. So our working equation will be x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 66. Let us remove the parentheses. Combine like terms. x plus x is 2x plus x is 3x. 1 plus 2 is 3. Copy equals 66. Let us move 3 to the other side. 66 minus 3 is 63. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 3. This 3 will cancel out. 63 divided by 3 is equal to 21. So, x equals 21 is the first number. And then, x plus 1 is equal to 21 plus 1, which is 22, the second number. x plus 2 is equal to 21 plus 2, which is 23, the third number. Let us do a quick checking. Is 21 plus 22 plus 23 equals 66? 21 plus 22 is 43, and 43 plus 23 is 66. They are equal. Therefore, the three consecutive numbers are 21, 22, and 23. Next one, Dean accidentally tipped a flask containing 600 ml of 90% nitrite solution is spilling part of its content. He replaced it by an equal amount from a mixture of 30% nitrite. If an 80% solution resulted, how much was spilled? 
Let's visualize the problem. Initially, we have 600 ml of 90% nitrite solution. Dean accidentally tipped the flask is spilling part of its content. When it spilled, then it is subtraction. But we do not know how much was spilled, so we have minus x. What is the concentration of this amount? This is also 90%. Because it came from the original solution, 600 ml with 90% concentration. Then he replaced it by an equal amount. So replace means addition, equal amount, so also X. Now what is the concentration of this? From a mixture of 30% nitrite. So we have 30%. If an 80% solution resulted, so equals 80%, how much was spilled? But my question is, how much amount do we have now? So we have 600 minus x plus x minus x plus x will just cancel out, so we still have 600 ml. So 600 times 90% is 600 times 0 0.9. Then x times 90% is 0.9x, x times 30% is 0.3x, and 600 times 80% is 600 times 0.8. 600 times 0 0.9 is 540. Negative 0.9x plus 0.3x is negative 0.6x. 600 times 0 0.8 is 480. Let us move 480 on this side. Let us copy 540. And then when we move this, it will become minus 480. Then let us move negative 0.6x on the other side. It will become positive. 540 minus 480 is 60. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 0 0.6. 0 0.6 here will cancel out. 60 divided by 0 0.6 is 100. To check, you may substitute 100 here and find out if this will be equal to 480. And yes, it will be. Therefore, there was 100 ml of original solution is spilled. Another problem, Charles and Jomel enjoy strolling. Jomel left one hour before Charles, but Charles drive an average of 10 km per hour faster. If it takes Charles five hours to catch up with Jomel, how fast is Jomel driving? It would be best if we create a table for this. Distance, rate, time. The distances of Jomel and Charles are equal because Charles was able to catch up with Jomel. For the rate of Jomel, that is what we are looking for in this problem. So let this be R. The rate of Charles is 10 km per hour faster than Jomel. So R plus 10. For the time, it took 5 hours for Charles to catch up with Jomel. So the time of Charles is 5. But Jomel left 1 hour before Charles. So 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. The formula of distance is equal to rate times time. The distances of Jomel and Charles again are equal. So the distance of Jomel, that would be r times 6 or 6r, is equal to the distance of Charles which is r plus 10 times 5. So we have 6r, 5 times r is 5r, and 5 times 10 is 50. Copy 6r. Let us move 5r on this side. It will become minus 5r and then equals 50. 6r minus 5r is equal to r. Copy 50. So the rate of Jomel is equal to 50 km per hour. If you want to check, then you may substitute it here and multiply it with 6. So 50 times 6 is 300. For Charles, you have 50 plus 10 is 60 and 60 times 5 is also 300. Therefore, their distances are the same. Again, Jomel is driving at the speed of 50 km per hour hour. This time, let us solve word problems involving inequality. A rectangle must have an area of at least 20 cm squared and no more than 60 cm squared. If the width of the rectangle is 4 cm, what is the range of values for the length? So we are looking for the length. We let L be equal to length. 
and W be equal to width. The width of the rectangle is given and that is 4 centimeters. We know that the formula for area is length times width. So that would be L times 4 or 4L. Now, 4L, which is the area, must be no more than 60 centimeters squared. So, meaning less than or equal to 60, but at least 20 centimeters squared. So, the minimum value is 20, but greater than or equal to 20. To solve for L, let us divide everything by 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 4 and 4 here will cancel out, so we have L. And 60 divided by 4 is 15. To check, let us substitute value within this range. So let us say 10. So 4 times 10 is 40. And 40 is less than 60, but greater than 20. Therefore, the length must be at least 5 cm and no more than 15 cm. Another problem, Jonna is charged 200 pesos monthly for a particular mobile plan, which includes 100 free text messages to all networks. Every call is worth 6 pesos. If Jonna wants to control her total monthly bill to be not more than 320 pesos, how many minutes of call can she make? So we let x be the number of minute calls since each call is worth 6 pesos so 6x is the total cost of minute calls. She is charged 200 pesos monthly and then let us add the total cost of minute calls and she wants her monthly bill to be not more than 320. So 200 plus 6x should be less than or equal to 320. So let us move 200 to the other side. 320 minus 200 is 120. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 6. So 6 here will cancel out. 120 divided by 6 is 20. So x is less than or equal to 20. Let us check. Since there is or equal to here, let us say the value is equal to 20. So 6 times 20 is 120. 200 plus 120 is 320. And 320 is equal to 320. So our answer is correct. Therefore, Jonna can make at most 20 minutes of call. Another problem, Carlos went to amusement park with 500 pesos. He bought snacks for 140 pesos and he wanted to spend the rest of his money on rides which cost 40 pesos each. Determine the maximum number of rides he can buy. So we let x be the number of rides and since each ride cost 40 pesos then 40x is the total cost of rides. He bought snacks that is 140 pesos and the rest of the money will be spent on rides so plus 40x and he has only 500 pesos so this should be less than or equal to 500. Let us move 140 to the other side. 500 minus 140 is 360. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 40. 40 here will cancel out. 360 divided by 40 is 9. Let us say the value is 5, that is less than 9. 40 times 5 is 200. 140 plus 200 is 340, and that is less than 500. So our answer is correct. Therefore, Carlos can buy at most 9 ride tickets. Let us do extra challenge. The second of four numbers is three less than the first. The third is four more than the first. And the fourth is two more than the third. Find the fourth number if the sum of the numbers is 35. Let x be the first number. The second is three less than the first, so x minus three. The third is four more than the first, so x plus four. And the fourth is 2 more than the third. The third is x plus 4. 2 more than that is quantity x plus 4 plus 2. The sum of the numbers is 35, so we add everything equal to 35. Let us remove the parentheses. Combine like terms, x plus x is 2x plus x is 3x plus x is 4x. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 plus 4 is 7. Copy equals 35. So let us move 7 to the other side. 
35 minus 7 is 28. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 4. So 4 here will cancel out. And 28 divided by 4 is 7. x is equal to 7. That is the first number. But we are tasked to find the fourth number. So let us substitute 7 here. So this will be quantity 7 plus 4 plus 2. 7 plus 4 is 11 and 11 plus 2 is 13. You do the checking on this one. This means 13 is the fourth number. Quick tips, here are the steps in solving linear equation in inequality in one variable. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. <laughs> Let us answer. Let us create a table for this. 2009 and 2021. In the May of the year 2009, Jonathan was 11 times as old as his son Clark. So the age of Clark in 2009 is not given. That is what we are looking for in this problem. So Clark in 2009, the age is X. That time, Jonathan was 11 times as old as his son. So, if his son is X, Jonathan is 11 times X, 11 times as old. In May 2021, he will be 3 times as old as his son. From 2009 to 2021, that is 12 years. So, if Clark is X years old in 2009, in 2021, he is X plus 12. By this time, Jonathan will be three times as old as his son. So, if the age of Clark is X plus 12, three times of that is the age of Jonathan. Now, again, from 2009 to 2021, that was 12 years both for Jonathan and Clark. So, when we subtract the age of Jonathan in 2009 from his age in 2021, that will be equal to the age of Clark when we subtract his age in 2009 from his age in 2021. Let us distribute 3 here. This will be 3x. 3 times 12 is 36. Copy negative 11x. x and negative x will just cancel out. So we have 12. And then 3x minus 11x is negative 8x. So 36. Let us move 12 on this side. And let us move negative 8x on this side. 36 minus 12 is 24. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 8. 8 here will cancel out and 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. Therefore, Clark's age in 2009 was 3 years old. Gets?